Today is March 31st. It's a Thursday. I'm picking up my sister Lindsay from the airport and we are going to be hanging out for the next two nights, three days, okay? And I'm like pulling up to the arrivals right now. I meant to start this vlog earlier, but I was honestly so freaking tired this morning because I went to bed at like 2.30 and then I woke up randomly at like four. <laughs> I don't know why, no, I do know why I went to bed so late. It's because I've been watching wedding movies and um, reviewing them on my Instagram, which have really gotten the critics raving in my DMs and hating in my DMs because you guys have a lot of opinions about these movies and I am entitled to my own opinions as well, okay? I just want to remind you, don't be mean to me if I don't like your movie. Anyways, uh, that's just what's on my mind today. <laughs> I watched two last night. I watched The Wedding Planner and Marry Me. And one was from 2001 and the other was from 2022 and they were vastly different J-Lo movies but she looked as hot as she did 21 years ago. Why is that woman, she just doesn't age. She doesn't age. Anyways, I'm looking for a woman named Lucinda Limon. I ain't never seen this woman in my life. Oh, I see her in her little blue bag. Hey! You knew I was vlogging. I just thought of <laughs> Sometimes Lindsay, when I pick her up from the airport, she'll get so excited that she doesn't even see that I'm vlogging. did one more clap you would explode <laughs> okay so that lexus pulled up like 10 minutes ago when I, or maybe like five minutes ago when i first came out and it was the same color and style as your car so i was like hey hey and i got closer and it was just like some old lady she's like she was not hell? waving back no, she was not enjoying that <laughs> shit How's your flight? Was it good? Yeah, it was like pretty short. It was really loud, which is weird. Like not anyone on the flight, but I was sitting by the um. Is it called the propeller? And the whole time it was just like shaking the floor of the plane. Oh God. It was really loud. Well, I'm, I'm happy my woman's here. I know. You know, and that you I'm made so it excited. okay. It's Even kind of like regardless of out. your vibrations. Yeah, yeah, it was it was raining on the way to pick you up, but it's not raining anymore. So we'll see what the weekend has in store. Lindsay's gonna hydrate. We're gonna catch the hell up. I'll talk to you later. Bye, y'all. See y'all soon now. You don't wanna hit this? You don't wanna hey, hit girl. this? You don't wanna hit this? I'm actually in Oregon. I just arrived. Yeah, I'm, I'm with Maurice right now. Hey! Welcome to, welcome to Oregon. Thank you, darling, darling. Thank you. <laughs> I was just calling you to share because you always... Our mom called us in the middle of our... We were about to do a gift exchange. Everyone comment saying hello to Lisa Hughes. Yeah. I have some clothing items to swap back to you. A Christmas present that arrived in literally beginning of March. It was a deranged delay. And then a subscriber of mine sent some items for you to my P.O. box. I got I know. a shirt with a boot. It's a cropped little, I, th I thought it was size. perfect for you. Do you I think she sewed that. this on here? Um, no, I think she, so she works at a thrift store, I'm pretty sure. This is the second time that she sent me like a full package with stuff that she's thrifted. It's literally perfect for me. And a pink <laughs> t-shirt. It's like kind of a little baby tee vibe. It is, yeah. It it's says from cowgirl. The, Waconia Rodeo. <coughs> Waconia Rodeo. Where do you think that is? She lives in Minneapolis. So maybe if it was thrifted around there, maybe. I'm dying. These are perfect for this weekend too. I know. And the color scheme is just gorgeous. Do all it's very really good. I, I feel like, like if you that. cut that too and wore it with like shorts or something, it yeah. would be like so Yeah, I might fun. crop this. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Make a little baby tea. Right? A little baby A little baby tea. I have a, a matching set too. She sent a Dreamcatcher necklace. I think this is the hematite one and then matching earrings and she bought them um from a navajo indian as oh my well gosh, really? so do i you have matching like, ones i do but mine are light blue so i have like an aquamarine or something like that and you have hematite oh my god this queen I know, it's oh my i've literally been manifesting actually a cow mug it is a I've cow been thinking inside. about it oh my god let me show this to you guys it's to so all good. the cameras up close look at this cow oh 
My word. I want to drink out of this right now. Okay. I love how it's on the inside. That's so funny. I know. Like this he's like submerged. So cute. I'm dying. This is just clothes that I'm giving back to you. Can you guys stop eating each other's faces? Let's put someone down. Where you go find a toy. Go She's find a toy. <laughs> well, what's this? Wow. That's from Marie. Yeah, that's from me. She is ever more my taste. Yeah. I'm so excited. The reason I got you this one is because I asked you, um, I'm doing a poll, Folklore or Evermore, which I one's better? That. And you're like, Evermore, obviously. I remember that. Literally months yeah, ago. Oh, guys. Whoa, what a great <laughs> and haul. Miss Swift, her merch store, it was on delay. Like, it was like a severe delay. back order. Thank you. No problem. This was a great haul. It Thank was. you, Maurice like and a, Rose. An early birthday. Okay, I'll, bring in, I'll bring in my gifts. Yay. You knew you were getting yeah. this. <gasps> Yeah, but it is like actually kind of beautiful in person. Like, she is giving. Beautiful. Giving. I got Megan a set of the. I never know if it's caraway or caraway. I think it's caraway. I think it's caraway. Yeah. These are actually amazing. I think these are like one of those like influencer products that everyone talks about, but I genuinely think they're very worth the hype. Yes. They have like actually changed my life and non toxic, non stick. Yeah, they're amazing. I love the pans and the baking sets. Great too. Like look how beautiful. And not Teflon. It is. It's not Teflon. Mm -hmm. It's something else. I have Teflon pans for all of my baking. muffins and baking dishes and Finley pointed it out He was like we use cast iron for like everything else yeah. But I feel like we need to get non Teflon pans for like baking yeah. and so when you texted me about these I was like, oh my god, I need them. It's perfect. They're honestly so beautiful. I love the cream I have the gray, but I really like the cream. Yeah, this is awesome <laughs> Wow, I'm on my breadwinning housewife shit. And for tonight's <gasps> festivities, oh my a set of cowgirl hats. Yes. You're oh my god, it literally open. matches your shirt that you're gonna wear tonight. Yeah, it yeah. does. Holy shit. And I brought my cow print boots. It's gonna be a little deranged. It is gonna be a little. It's gonna be so fucking cute though. It's ladies' night. Giddy up now, y'all. <laughs> One hop this time. I'm kidding. That is not a country. It is a line dance though. Anything like the cha-cha slide or the electric slide. Cha-cha now, y'all. Boom, ba -dum, boom, 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 boom. Turn it out. That's literally like the, the basis of a line dance. It's just to do it all in one line, not really stray from the line. I guess you know I don't I mean? know really much about line dancing. No, but you do, because you know, and don't you know the, um, the Cuba cha -cha? Oh, yeah. Because yeah. I remember we used to do, we're going to get funky at Northwood Island. Yeah, that was so fun. Those were the best days of gym. It was. The worst days of gym were anything with balls. And when you had to do those weird tests where you would like do the sit-ups and the pacer. Oh, the pacer, was that God. in elementary and middle or just No, middle? just middle. The pacer is just middle school. That was dark. Well, this was incredible. Hope y'all liked that. Thank you for my gifts. I forgot to give you a hug. I'll mm -hmm. give you one off camera. You can turn <laughs> off my camera too. Thanks for watching. for a while. You want to see this? <laughs> you want to see this see booty this. mate? <laughs> oh, that's a very vibrant house. We're heading to Tusk right now. We're wearing our flop era shirts and we are going to be going to the show after this, but we're starting at dinner and then going from there. I'm so excited to eat. I'm so excited to get cocktails. I'm so excited for the show. I'm so excited to go line dancing. The last time we went to Tusk was when we were about to go see Lord, Lord. in 2018. It, oh that was literally like two months into me first moving here. Crazy. What the fuck that that was four years ago? I love being a little tourist girly. Just a tourist girly. Yes, darlings. We're here. Got my mango claw. Hey, girls and boys. We're watching Maid of Honor for my Maid of Honor. <laughs> Fuck, that's cursed. Come on now, here we go now. Let's go now. Whoa, let's go. Yeah. Woo, Rue. The girls are out tonight. What up, what up? It's the next day. We went to the show last night. We got dinner at Tusk, which I don't think I showed, but I did talk to you before. We weren't allowed to film like the girls actually talking at Girls Gotta Eat Live, but we were allowed to film like the dancers at the beginning and stuff like that or take pictures, but it was a good time. It was a rowdy time, honestly. They were so absurd with the stories that they shared. It basically was just like crowd interactive. You know what I mean? Like they were getting stories from the crowd that they had submitted via email. People got up and gave Ashley and Reyna their phones 
longs to read their text messages, their sexy text messages with people and literally like live read them for everybody. And it was just simply an absurd time, so much fun. But now I'm in my closet because I'm trying to pick out what I wanna wear today because we're going to the Tulip Festival in Woodburn with my friend Ashley, who is Third Eye Lens on all social media. And we're gonna be taking like some sister photos. And Lindsay's wearing like a brown sweater dress kind of with like a white turtleneck underneath with pink flowers. And I just don't know what to wear to compliment her. She was like, maybe you could wear yellow. I'm like, okay, I do have a lot of that. Like I could wear this, but it's not really warm enough for exposed legs yet. It's still pretty chilly, although it's very sunny today, which is very lucky for us. I'm just gonna pick out a few little options. Just a few. Also, we were gonna go line dancing last night and then my friends both had to open today on Saturday that we're going with Maddie and Summer. And so they were like, what are you guys doing tomorrow night? Can we just go tomorrow night? Because we don't have to work the next morning and we can like party with you guys and go line dancing. And I was like, yes. So we're going tonight and I'm very excited. But before that, we're spending the afternoon amongst the tulips and I'm even more excited for that. Actually, I'm equally excited for both. I'm not gonna lie to you. Who knows what I'll wear? Yeehaw, y'all. Woodburn Tulip Festival at the old wooden shoe tulip farm. I think that this is definitely the most rich Maybe colors. Yeah, yeah, true, true. I gotta find my woman. Where are you, Ashley? We're vibing at the fields. Miss Ashley is here with her gorgeous camera. We're getting after it. It's so bright in this one area. We did just get yelled at for being in the rows. It's fine. We're probably gonna go up to the platform for our, maybe some sky, some blue sky shots. And then these ones are coming in. The yellow is so bright. And I love these ones. We're talking about hot air balloons right now is what's going on. Tim and Lindsay off. This is her dream. We got a pink tractor. I mean, isn't it everyone? It should be. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my god, even the little the wheels. I know. Yes. Bye, tulips. <laughs> Lindsay just realized that she didn't even vlog while we were well, here. Well, I took one brief February. I was kind of a flop, though. It's okay. We will have lots of photos for you guys of us on the gram. Right, so, right. honestly, the Tulip Festival this year, 2022, one of the greatest years I've been. I really want to. I want to say longer. We cannot. Yeah, we have too many we're things. Kind of on a time crunch for the the night because of our line dancing. But I would I would stay the whole day if I could. <laughs> they do give you a day pass, so it's like fifteen dollars and then it's you can come really in for the entire day. Out here. And it's an amazing day. Like we truly couldn't have picked a better day. Totally. A Friday is the day to go. We're gonna go get ice cream now. Yes! At Big Burger. Yes! Yeah, yeah. We stopped for some soft serve at Big Burger I on the way home. <laughs> before this. As you should. Mmm. Delicious. Lindsay didn't finish her ice cream cone, so I'm gonna bring it to the big, the big ladies. How's it going, big ladies? Hi. Hi. I'm gonna let Peach start with a little bite. Or, maybe Peachy starts with a little bite. You love ice cream. That was a big bite. Wow. Okay, okay, you can finish it off. Oh, ducky. Oh my god. Fuck. That was a little scary. I almost lost my hand. Did you? <laughs> you guys are ice cream fiends. Wow. You love that? That came from a cow friend. Yeah, you know a couple of cows. Yes. This is what happens to my hand when I massage coconut oil onto their dry spots for their blowing of their coat. You can only bite me with your lips, not your teeth. Okay? <laughs> they think that I have more coconut oil in my hand, so they try to eat it off of me. Did I get all your eye goop out? Peach is such a trooper when it comes to eye goop, but Ducky does not like it. I'm looking at all your bumps and spots. You look fine to me. Yeah, you look fine to me. Hi. 
Lindsay and I have our loading screen up on my live stream and she's I'm giving her full control of the soundboard. Do you want to play anything else? This is like their cue to know that the stream's about to start. We're gonna play a little Mario Kart. Just two cowgirls. Probably gonna braid my hair while we talk too. Rue, we said cowgirls. Not, not loud girls. Peanut, yeah. <gasps> That's a good joke. Hey folks, I'm coming to you from me editing this. Um, the next clips that you're gonna see are from the line dancing bar, but they were playing copywritten country music the whole night. And it's just gonna make me anxious if I keep in the real version of the song and then I get copywritten later and then I make no money off of this video. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna put in a little country jingle just from the copyright free section of YouTube's audio library and you guys can vibe to that. But I'm going to upload the real versions of what we were really listening to and the dances and stuff like that to my Patreon and I'll link it down below, okay? That's a kind of good in-between because I can't obviously keep it in the vlog, but I still want to show you what we were doing and show you the dance. Anyways, enjoy me dancing to Rude Dude. This was the dance lesson that they taught that night at the country bar, and I learned it in one night. And this is live footage of me getting it down for the first time, and I was so proud of myself. So I wanted to keep it in the vlog. <laughs> lawn and landscaped while Lindsay and I have been out on all of our adventures and it looks so good. I literally can't believe it. He completely chopped apart the butterfly bush. She's looking real hacked today but it's okay and the garden is for another day for me. There's so much mint it's deranged. Okay go to the bathroom room. There's also so many birds out today I've seen like 80. I'm not even exaggerating. I've seen so many. Good girl, Missy Pissy. It's been so wet though that the grass is all clumped up, but I swear it looks much better than before. I'm freaking vibing. Hell yeah. You got it, girl. Come on now. 10,000. I can feel it. Okay, on the next one, 10,000. <laughs> Guys, we're getting after it a little. Oh, we're not doing any go karting. Mini golf. Bullwinkles. I'm losing. That's just like, um, the ceiling can't hold us Zumba dance. <laughs> Love you. In Florida. Just a few short weeks. Thank you for having me. Oh, hey, it's me again. Ready to end off this vlog because I forgot to film an outro. I did film me saying goodbye to Lindsay and that was the last clip that you saw, but I didn't actually do an outro. And I honestly thought that this vlog would have turned out longer than it was. So I apologize for that. I just felt like we were getting so much footage on not only my vlog camera, but we also filmed a Patreon story time together where we both did like Patreon videos. So we did a little collab, which I will also link down below if it's up at the same time as this vlog, which I think it might be, I don't know. And we also each filmed like two TikToks, which I still haven't edited when I'm editing this. I figured the vlog can go up first and then we can kind of like follow with content afterwards, but we did do a lot. And we also got professional photos taken of us from my friend Ashley. 
shout out to her. So there was just so many things. Normally, we're lucky if we get a couple of selfies and maybe like a couple of vlog clips, you know what I mean? But I just felt like we did so much on so many various platforms and I'm very proud of us for that. So I hope you enjoyed the vlog. I hope you enjoyed seeing us go line dancing. I met a subscriber there, which was also iconic. And I met her boyfriend, which was great. And Lindsay got to meet my besties here in Oregon, which was so much fun because we just got to have a little line dancing ladies night. Yeehaw, you know, tipping our hats. And everybody there was so nice to us, like just so friendly and accommodating and fun. And I want to go back because I love dancing. And if you could tell when I got the line dance done, my face was like, I got it. Yes, bitches. And if you watch the Patreon version, you hear Summer hyping me the fuck up. She was like, yes, bitch, you're getting it. <laughs> and I just need more of that energy in my life, you know? And I just like dancing in bigger groups of people because choreography is just kind of iconic. And I think that's why I like Zumba so much and probably why I like line dancing so much. And I'm only been once, so yeah. Anyways, yeehaw to that. Maybe it's just, you know, one of those passionate hobbies that you get for a period of time and then it fades out, but maybe it'll last longer. Who knows? I would like for it to last longer. Lindsay's visit was so incredible. We did so much, not only content wise, but just bonding wise. We got to listen to our favorite songs in the car on our long drives to these various places we were going. We got to hang out with friends and with Finley and have a day at Bullwinkle's, which is the most fun. And I just love it. I loved every second of it and I miss her already, but I'm gonna see her at the end of the month for my bridal shower and our batch weekend, which is going to be our bachelor and bachelorette party combined, getting all crazy with our friends in Florida. And that's in just a few short weeks, which is crazy to think about. I still need to get my bridal shower dress. Ma. Anyways, I need to stop filming this clip because I need to go get ready for Zumba, but hope you enjoyed this. If you did, please comment down below, Lucinda and Maurice forever, okay? <laughs> I love you guys and I will talk to you in my next video. Until then, you can find me live streaming on Twitch three times a week, or you can find me on my Patreon where I upload extra content. Okay, stay smiling, bye guys.